Got one! Before I get into this review, I want to disclose that this is not an unbiased review, as in this is a biased review. Maybe you've seen the commercial that I star in. Watch me. I mean, I wasn't, um, I'm not being paid by Samsung to make this video. I've just like worked for them in the past. In fact, I had to beg them to give me this thing to make this video. All right, in general, I'm not very good at tech reviews, but let's get started. So as you can see, the S8 Plus is a fairly large phone. When compared to the S7 Edge, it's really not that much bigger or wider. And when you compare it to the uh, iPhone 6 Plus, it's a little taller, but it's more slender. Like look, touchy touchy. No, well, almost touchy touchy. And it's all about, it's all about holding them in your hand. This is the key comparison here. How they feel when you're holding them. S8, iPhone 7 Plus. Now one critique that I had of the S7 Edge is that there was like a little too much edge. Like my fingers would always kind of accidentally activate things and touch things because they touch the edge. On the, on the S8, it really feels like they fixed that. Like there's nothing awkward about holding on to the edge of this thing. The side-by-side -side screen real estate comparison. That is how much surface of the phone is dedicated to the screen. As you can see, the S8 here is all screen. This has got a big fat chin, a big fat chin. And I gotta say, when you hold this thing, when you hold this thing in your hand, it's like the screen is sort of dripping off the edges. It feels, it truly feels, it truly feels like you're just holding a screen in your hand. And that's kind of amazing. The S8 here feels a little bluer. This feels a little warmer. Like this is more of a pink orange. This is more of a blue. I will say you can definitely see the pixels on the iPhone and on the S8 it's nothing but pure butter. Like that is a clean, clean text right there. No sign of pixels, nothing. Just razor, razor sharp. This is where you can really see the difference. I need like a pointer. Look at this, this huge chin, all this wasted surface area and this is just an amazing image versus the iPhone. I mean even even versus the older Samsung, it's just so much screen. This is where the screen really makes the difference. It's just, it's just so much more screen for the phone size. All right, because this is like a, uh, because this is an unreleased one, I can't really go outside or film anywhere interesting with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a film recording test indoors with this thing. All right, this is gonna be the front facing, like the selfie camera, video camera test. Got an iPhone 7 here, and I have this uh, Galaxy S8 Plus here. Ready? On the, uh, the lighting conditions vary pretty dramatically here in my office. <laughs> this is funny. I can't tell looking at the screen which one's better. This is what the audio sounds like on the iPhone. This is what the audio sounds like on the S8. Let me light myself, ready? Okay, this is with extremely bright lighting in my face. There's a little backlight action. There's a little of my glasses action. All right, okay. Let's try the rear camera. Why do they bury on iPhone? Why do they bury the 4K settings in the setting menu instead of having them in the camera? All right, this, this is the 4K camera test. They're both shooting in 4K. Trying to give you some camera movement. I mean, it's really, it's so hard to tell when you're looking at the screens. 
As far as which has a wider lens, very hard to tell. It looks, I'm trying to frame them the same. It looks about the same. I think that the S8 has a slightly wider lens than the iPhone, um, but it also has a, just a massive screen, so it could be the bigger screen. Again, I would take this camera test with a grain of salt. I'm just filming in here. I would love to film outside. I'm not allowed to. Let's take a look at the still photos. Okie dokie, now I'm gonna test the selfie camera. That is selfie stills. Again, I really wish I had a prettier test subject, but I'm not allowed to show this thing to anybody, so it's just gonna be me. I'm gonna test the flash on the camera. All right, that's kind of it. That kind of concludes this. Actually, this is like a hyper rushed first look at this, the Samsung S8. I don't have much time with it. They just, they just gave me this thing and I gotta give it right back. And while I do work with Samsung, so take that for what it's worth, I was definitely not paid to make this video. Um, and I wasn't paid to say that like, this thing's pretty amazing. This is like, it's almost the cell phone I've been waiting for since I was a little kid. The cell phone I've been waiting for since I was a little kid is nothing but screen all the way. Like a pure, you're just holding a window to the universe in your hand. And this is by far the closest thing to it just yet. Soon this will be my full time like real phone and that's when I can do like a super deep dive review, especially on the video camera because that's my number one priority. And this was another kind of terrible, like uh, super rush, kind of like not that good tech review from Casey Neistat. Not sure if you can see that. Can you see that right there? That little hole? You know what that little hole is? That's a headphone jack.